sleep is a necessity for our life. We've been doing it since forever. If you don't, you'll end up like your local commentary YouTube. But now, you can even get capitalized while sleeping. With Elon's brain chip coming, this was inevitable. Introducing Pokemon Sleep A sleep tracking Pokemon spin-off game developed by Select Button with a central focus on Snorlax and improving our sleep. I mean, sleep made Snorlax way more relevant through merchandise, promotional videos, which are underrated to the game, and even an ASMR live stream that aired before the release of the game, and they still air it regularly. And I kind of like this relevancy, because they also changed the original logo from having a Pikachu to a Snorlax. Yes, the old logo, because the game was announced in 2019, to be coming in 2020, but released in 2023. At Pokemon Go Fest events as early as 2019, you could even catch a known that spelled out sleep. But in practice, Pokemon Sleep seems like an elaborate ploy to sell more Pokemon Go Pluses, which does give them more functionality. It released on July 16th for Canada, Latin America, Australia, and New Zealand, which only lasted for three days since after it was released worldwide. So I decided to record my findings of the game for one week back then and don't ask me why this video took so long like everyone's done this concept of doing the sleep with one week i don't know how everyone got the fucking thing i thought of this idea before even the game was released day one no day zero because you know after i accepted that all the terms and service and some shit it required me to download 600 megabytes of data which i put it on download and came back the next day you can see my eat play sleep repeat shirt because that's all you do in this game day one after the download i enter my name and i'm now introduced to professor neroli who wants to study the sleep of pokemon he gives me a pikachu and then tells me to well sleep there's nothing here I try to sleep, then it shows me how the phone is to be kept when sleeping to avoid burning it. And it requires having your phone or Pokemon Plus be on your bed, which might be uncomfortable for some people. A sleep session is only counted a bit, 90 minutes, as it's a full sleep cycle. And you can only have two per day. Each day rolls over at 4 a.m. Day 2. Why is it day 2? Because I sleep after 12 p.m. because of my fucked up sleep schedule. Hey, maybe the game can fix that. When sleeping, it has a relaxing sound feature, which plays the Pokemon Center theme, which is way too loud, even on the lowest volume, and it boosts your brightness to the maximum, which are both thankfully fixed in later updates. Now, before I wake up, let me teach you the basics of the game, which I was going to do, but let me just play the introductory video. Feeding Snorlax will increase its strength. When bedtime comes, you can track your sleep. If you get lots of sleep, your sleep score will be higher. If you sleep less, your score reflects that too. Your sleep score multiplied by Snorlax's strength will decide its drowsy power. More drowsy power means more Pokemon may gather. You get that? I don't either. After waking up, I get my sleep score and I might be failing because to get a hundred, you need to sleep like eight and a half hours, which I literally cannot manage every day. And I wonder if most can. Then it's a sleep chart and uh, my sleep type, which I'll explain in a few minutes. Then we have a drowsy power, which affects the Pokemon that spawn. After that, we get to catch the Pokemon, which involves feeding biscuits. And then you can have a photo of the sleep session. After every week, you get to change your locations and get a new Snorlax and basically start from the scratch. Day 3. Now let's get down to a real business. Feeling our Snorlax makes the strength go up. You can feed it by feeding it berries from Pokemon and feeding it breakfast, lunch and dinner which can be made by ingredients from Pokemon. The strength essentially helps it. you to rank up and to levels I know no one will ever get to. Now after I wake up, note that I sleep and wake up on the same day, I have a, a better score because that is possibly the best score I can ever get. Because simply because it was the weekend. Now I didn't notice it last time, but it also records sounds when I sleep, which comprises of just my fan and no snoring, which it is supposed to record. Now I am one of those people who puts the fan on full speed and I admit it is very noisy for most people, that's why the 
recordings are all fucked up. I catch some more Pokemon and it's time I talk about the shop of the game. It works either on a sleep pass or a premium pass. Yeah, which you pay for. Or gems. This can be gained by completing some tasks and by paying the game. Yeah. You get sleep points depending on your sleep score and if you save some up, the shop isn't that bad. Unless you have the premium pass which offers way cheaper prices. Also, I would explain all the things in the menu, but that's pretty boring. You can definitely figure it out for yourself. This is the kind of sleep stance, which I'll explain. Just wait. This is the description of every item in the game. This is every item in the game. This is every location in the game, which you can get by getting sleep styles. And these are self-explanatory. This, I don't know what it is, because it's a friend list, which I don't have and settings. There's also missions for you to complete every week. Day 4. It's time I explain you the sleep styles. They're essentially just cosmetic version of the stages of sleep and you get them depending on which stage was the most prominent in your sleep. Here's how the stages of sleep work in an extremely simplified kind of way. Now there are four kinds of sleep. Some say it's five but they are generally four. Stage 1. It affects the dozing kind of sleep in the game. In this stage, you can generally be woken up because it is the first few minutes of your sleep and your body gets ready to relax. Stage 2 It affects the snoozing kind of sleep in the game, where your body relaxes itself and resists from being woken up. Stage 3 Also known as deep sleep, it affects the slumbering kind of sleep in game and the body relaxes even further and it is believed to be important for brain activities like thinking. This stage is also the one where sleepwalking can occur. Stage 4 is the REM sleep, which is an acronym for rapid eye movement, which it does when your eyes are closed. This is when your body is paralyzed to stop you from acting out your vivid dreams. Dreams can occur in any sleep stage, but they are less common and intense in the non-REM periods. It is also believed to be helpful in the betterment of cognitive ability. I would say it affects the balanced kind of sleep in game but uh, it really affects the dozing kind. Balance kind allows every type of sleep stage Pokemon to spawn. But this is how they work. These stages don't happen at particular duration but have fluctuations throughout the sleep. Thanks to sleepfoundation.org for all the info. The more the rank of the Snorlax, the more sleep styles you encounter. The more sleep styles, you can unlock rewards and locations which are currently 4 different. You see why I was hesitant in explaining this all before I yeah, said sleep way too many times. Uh, then I'm off to sleep. Here's the score, here's the type and here's the fucking power because that's how it's going to be all the time and also here's the Pokemon. Day 5. Okay, nothing to see here as I said. Just the usual. And I'm back to sleep. Also you can level up Pokemon and change your teams. It also has an auto team creator option to maximize your priority. Also, the level up and evolution mechanic is similar to Pokemon Go. There's also a diary to write if you pay for the premium pass. Here's the score, here's the power, here's the Pokemon and I unlock creative cooking, that, that's a new thing. And I also got my weekly day 6. Since I really have nothing to do but sleep, I'll just throw in some findings in here. Some redditors found that they could cheat the game altogether. To do that, they literally used the oldest trick in the book, changing the system clock. I thought because it connected to the internet, it would at least have some form of online clock system. But no, they literally overlooked the most common exploit. Now I cannot confirm this, this comes from reddit. So you know how it is. If I were to go on how many times this has happened, it would be probably hours. The Gizmodo articles mentions Metal Gear 3 as a reference, but uh, you children are too young to get that game. So let me give you an example of a game you definitely played. Among Us! That's it, that's the reference, I'm not going to explain how it works. Not that I didn't even find all this on the supposed day 6, but way after that. Uh, as you can see, the sleep score is going down along with the drowsy power and... Uh, and I've started getting repeated Pokemon. And then they put a maintenance on. Day 7. It's finally the final day. I cook up a salad and go to sleep. Also, did I mention some Pokemon? 
have their natural actions when they fall asleep. I still hope that Irie was available for free users but with a word limit. And would you look at that, the worst score yet. At least I've got all new Pokemon. I also recorded the next day, except the results. So yes, day one, I'm counting day one. Now I did record a few days way after those, but that doesn't matter. You can also get like medals in your profile for rewards like Pokemon Go. And there's also manual sleep adding option which always results in the balanced type sleep. You can get like different colors, snow luxes which I thought was shiny but everyone thought it was shiny but it destroyed all the expectations. There's also a quiz on their website which uh, my sleep resulted in army. Squirtle. They're doing events of good sleep days on full moons to boost drowsy power and there's going to be a double candy halloween event in a couple of days by the time of this video. I don't really see them being able to do unique events but they could have a rare pokemon spawn once in a while after sleeping for a limited time. Well that's it so did pokemon sleep help me in improving my sleep? Absolutely. As you can see the scores got worse over time and after the game my sleep got even more and more fucked and today it's even more fucked up and I've even stopped playing the game. Like most people. I get random sleeps in the middle of the day which also fucking ruins my score even back then and still now. I can see how it could improve someone's sleep but it requires effort which I'm too lazy for even though the game's about sleeping. Ironically I'm writing and narrating this script instead of sleeping. It's 1.30 am. Now that Pokemon controls every part of my life, I'm going to sleep. Join me in the next time in the sequel of this video with an introduction of competitive sleep and sex. Why am I even doing this on a phone? I, could, I mean, I could just use a mic, but... It's broken. Did I pull this mic from my ass?